in a Congolese self uh, styled prophet who was uh, deported from the UK after he allegedly faked a car crash in order to claim thousands of pounds from uh, the insurance companies. Uh, he is the founder of Grace Faith Ministries which he founded in 1994. He is affectionately, uh, affectionately known as uh, the prophetic sharpshooter, also known as God Prophet and the man of uh, Pavarinto, uh, Paravinto, I mean, Paravinto. Yeah, uh, he will be telling us about his ministry and also what led him to fake a car crash. I'm talking about Prophet Charles Matondo. Hello, Prophet, and uh, it is uh, you know my pleasure to have you on this show. It is my pleasure being here. Uh -huh. Thank you for having me. Uh, I understand, Prophet, you uh, you started your, your ministry uh, in the year 1994. Is that so? Yes, that's correct. Uh, great, uh, great. And uh, how old were you then when you discovered that uh, you have a calling? Um, I discovered I have a calling very young. I started a ministry. Before I started ministry, uh, first of all, I received Christ, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, in... Um, 1992 mm -hmm. and that is when i knew christ and mm -hmm. i started serving the lord and um just about when um i was already about uh, five years in the ministry i started serving as so winner i started serving as a man of god and pushing the kingdom of god and i think after seven years is when i received a uh, clear um, confirmation from god that i was called by God. So mm -hmm. I think um, seven years after my confession to Christ, that's when I now knew that I was a man of God. I was serving still under my spiritual father. Mm -hmm. I was still serving as a pastor. Who's your man of God. spiritual father? My spiritual father is called Apostle Ani Kintembo da Silva. He's actually originally from uh, Angola, mm -hmm. but he spent all his time in DRC Congo, mm -hmm. where I was born. Okay, and how old were you then when you discovered that? During that time, yeah, mm -hmm. during my calling, I was, um, I think, about 17 mm -hmm. years old. 17 years old? Yeah. Uh, you, were, you were young. You Very were young. young. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and uh, who ordained you to become a prophet? Yes, who ordained me to be a prophet is my spiritual father, like I say. He's called Ani Antonio da Silva Kitembo, mm -hmm. who is the patriarch of the ministry called uh, Grafwa Faith. Mm -hmm. uh, ministry in Congo he, uh, ha is the, the, the man who has over 56 uh, branches across the DRC, Angola and different country, Belgium, uh, across the world. Great. And uh, now that uh, you learned, uh, I mean, you have uh, a gift, did you maybe go to the Bible school to further gain, I mean, knowledge uh, and the spiritual world? Yes, I study uh, in the United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. I was um, a minister of the gospel. Yeah. In the United Kingdom, I study, and uh, it, there is uh, a college called Formation. Mm -hmm. um, that's where I study my theology. And also, I was also, um, before I was ordained a bishop, I was into um, uh, Mission Leadership uh, College, which is led by Bishop uh, Ian Nacho mm -hmm. Simon. Uh, that is where I study, and again, I become a bishop. I was ordained again as a bishop, official bishop. Mm -hmm. And when I mean bishop, I'm a bishop gazetted by the United Kingdom, mm -hmm. not bishop beyond the, the, the corner. So okay. I'm recognized by the, 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 the Church of Anglican. Mm -hmm. um, I'm recognized in the Britain mm -hmm. as an official bishop. Official bishop. Yeah. That's great. And uh, how many are you, uh, um, are you in your family? In our family, we're a lot. Mm -hmm. My father has 12 children. 12, yeah. <laughs> yes, children. I'm the firstborn. The first one. And um, that is it. Yeah. Mm, that's great. And uh, just to remind our listeners, we are live on Facebook page. That's Typhon page. And also my page at DJ All 7. We are streaming live. We are talking to uh, Prophet uh, Charles Motondo. So uh, are you the only one who is spiritually gifted? or I mean, in, I mean, in your family? In my family, I'm not the only one who is spiritual gifted. Starting from my f my grandfather, mm -hmm. my grandfather was um, um, what can I say? My grandfather was a um, village chief, mm -hmm. uh, as you can know. And village chief, they do a lot of things, and uh, they are mixed with their power with uh, you know the tradition and with yeah. uh, custom and mm -hmm. all that with the power of the ancestral or maybe let's say African gods. Mm -hmm. And but um, he was surrounded with the priest uh also in the same time then 
when my father was born, the priest took my father from my grandfather, mm. and they say that he, wa- he had a specific calling. Mm-hmm. Though my father, instead of pursuing that, he decided to run away and become a medical doctor. Mm-hmm. So um, he escaped the calling to say. But in the family, I have some uh, like my, br- my my siblings. Mm-hmm. They have gifts. They are they, they have prof- uh, 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 prophetess and the prophet in oh. the family. The, though I was um, um, the, 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 the known and the pioneers mm-hmm. to bring them to Christ. Okay. But there are quite a lot of uh, men of God mm-hmm. uh, in the family. Oh, that's great. Wonderful. And uh, you are born Congolese, but to date, you have got uh, 14 branches of uh, Grace Fight Ministries across the world. Mm-hmm. Where exactly are you based at the, at the moment, Prophet? Right now, I am here in uh, Arare, Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. Uh, when I mean Arare, Zimbabwe, that's where the the, the main branch is, but we have different branches across Zimbabwe. Mm-hmm. Um, pem, uh, 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 um, in at the moment, the uh, our 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 branch, our headquarters, to say is here because mm-hmm. the headquarters actually <laughs> is where I am. Mm. Yeah, so but here in have, Zimbabwe, yeah, we have but, different but, but churches. Okay, but what's the purpose you know, of having so many branches across the world? Mm-hmm. What is the purpose? Yeah, Jesus said to us, He sent us to the world. He said, "Go and make all my dis- make make all the people my disciples." Mm-hmm. As an apostle, is an, is a mandate and is a mission for me <coughs> to go to uh, to nations mm-hmm. to make people the disciple of Christ, prepare them for the uh, for the groom Jesus mm-hmm. Christ to come. Yeah. So, and so wherever I go, I make church. Uh-huh. Wherever I go, I build the people. Yeah. Wherever I go, I train. And mm. so when I train. I have to make sure that there is a church that will be founded. Then people will continue. Then from there, I can go to another place. So everywhere I put my step, mm. my foot, I put the church. Okay, that's great. And uh, you are called God Prophet mm-hmm. by your followers. Yes. Prophetic sharpshooter mm-hmm. and the men of Paravinto mm-hmm. by your spiritual sons and mm-hmm. daughters. Please explain to us the meaning of those names. Right. I believe it is um, important to understand that... Uh, uh, in the things of God, we have a lot of titles. We have, uh, in the Fairford Ministries, we have apostles, evangelists, teachers, prophets, and pastors. And uh, if you read the Bible and the, in the Old Testament, you will see that all these names never existed. It was only one name that existed during that time, mm. that it was a prophet or seer. Now, it can be a time when Jesus came, separated, and it makes everybody mm-hmm. different into their calling, pastor, apostle, and evangelist. But during that time, there was people who were called, like Moses, mm-hmm. who was a man that speaks on the behalf of God. Mm-hmm. People could hear God only through him. Yeah. And the God said to Moses, he said, I make you God mm-hmm. over Pharaoh. So Moses was literally God. But again, Jesus, when he say it can be said, among the prophets, I have never seen greater than John, uh, than, 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 than Moses, meaning Moses he was God to Pharaoh and he was also a prophet to the people. So when I mean a, I mean God, God prophet, God means creator. So m- God means creator. When I say so are God, you, are, prophet, are you saying Moses was a creator? What I'm saying, that's what I'm trying to say to mm. you. Moses, he was God over Pharaoh, so he was able to create things that he was above the knowledge of Pharaoh. Mm-hmm. He did things that for Pharaoh it never existed. So when I said I'm a God prophet, meaning I am the God of the prophet, I create prophet. Because you, you create prophet. Okay. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. uh, tell me the meaning of, I mean, I mean what? Uh, explain further. Uh-huh. When you say you create prophet, yes. what do you mean? Yeah, create prophet, meaning I have the ability, God has given me the ability to make a prophet. Meaning, I need I teach people, then I transfer my spirit, my prophetic spirit to them. They become a prophet. So that oh. that, <laughs> yes, that become a creation. It's, it, it seems like it's a miracle. Um, okay, you transfer your spirit to M- someone else. Moses did that in the, in the book of number seventeen. Moses did that. Mm-hmm. God said to Moses, said, "Take your spirit, mm. put into seventeen people." Mm. And they shall begin to do what you do. And he put his spirit, mm. 17 people, immediately they begin to prophesy. They become prophet. So it's exactly what I do. If you check my video, that's what I do. I pray for people and they start prophesying. If you want, do you want me to do that way to you? Uh, maybe maybe, maybe my, my guy here in the studio. All right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> or to, 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 to transfer the spirit. <laughs> Ah, so it's going to be a, a, a hot one today, uh, tonight. So maybe, yeah, we are going to. Uh, allow you to demonstrate that power later on and uh, but to call yourself god prophet is that not uh, some kind of blasphemy 
It's not blasphemy because there is a there is a God, the Creator of the universe, mm. and God has make us as God Himself. We are when I say little God, we are little God because He create us. But he has given us the same empowerment to mm. be able to create. I'll give you a simple example. Mm. Some of the things, all the things that are here, you can't tell me that God created, someone created. Mm. This computer was created by somebody. Mm -hmm. You come here in, 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 in Star FM, you mm. are making a program, you are creating certain things based on the knowledge. Mm. So that means you got some certain capacity and ability for you to create certain things which others were not able to do. Mm. So I have the ability to create certain things that other prophets cannot do. That's why I'm called god prophet okay what are those uh things you have created that other prophets have failed to do i have created a lot of things like right now um i am restoring the prophetic the prophetic it was messed up um i believe if i remember very well i came to star fm and uh, i think 2017 mm -hmm. giving a prophecy about the nation when other people was afraid to talk about what is going to happen mm. and clearly say and give names of who is going to be the president of zimbabwe mm. which it was even a afraid to be published mm. but eventually they did but other prophet they could came, they come up and say something that it was not there mm -hmm. because they can't say clearly what is what mm -hmm. that is not only that i came to restore the prophetic that has been messed because a lot of people think a prophecy or a prophet is someone that make money eh. a prophet is someone that's supposed to be flashy or supposed to be doing all dodgy things and stuff like that mm. hence people are not trusting the prophetic or the prophet anymore so i come to restore the prophet i have, I have a school of the prophet where i teach uh, uh, sons and daughters how to work in the prophetic and we call it prophetic restoration movement okay so i have created that okay prophet um what is the raw let's talk about the role of a spiritual father what's the role of a spiritual father you mentioned that you've got your own spiritual father in angola um yeah so what's the role of a spiritual father my spiritual father, uh, for, uh, for correction, is in Congo right now. Congo, yeah. Uh, the role of a spiritual father is to look after the, 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 the flock, is to advise, is to correct, is to discipline, and to mentor them. Because the problem is, a son without the education of the father, he won't be able to become a father. You need to be able to learn from your father what your father did because once you're a son but tomorrow you cannot be a father mm. but you cannot be a father if you have never been a proper son so a proper son meaning has to get instruction and education from his father so you get instructions from your spiritual father on how to do the things because the things of the spirit mm. it's not what you see mm. only only preaching there are more to it on how to pray so could it be that uh, the spiritual fathers mm. you know are the ones who give powers spiritual fathers um they are one to give more education mm -hmm. transform your character principles mm -hmm. and show you the experiences in the ministry powers of course powers can also be given mm. through the spiritual pa uh, mm. the spiritual father mm. because they are gifted because they empower you mm. the bible say by the laying hands of the apostle that we were empowered so if there is not that somebody to empower you jesus christ who was lord who was god who was everything he has to come through john baptist to introduce him so in another words jesus had a spiritual father called john baptist so do you understand that the, the, the impact of the efficacy of the spiritual father mm. is so important in the life of any man of god a man of god who does not so, have so, a so spiritual is it, father is it, is it like it's a must to have a spiritual father he's a mass a man of god who does not have a spiritual father is just the same like people on the street are uh, forgive me for the word they will say mm. bastard is the same word people mm. will use because how can you then how can i come and i teach people the things that i have not learned from anybody mm. so you got to teach you got to be taught you got to learn for mm. you to give a spiritual father it has to be there remember right now if i decide to mess up mm. because this is a ministry and yep. if i decide to mess up who is going to come and, 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 and rebuke me who is going to come and say to me you are doing wrong things and come back to the right path you need a spiritual father you need a mentor so far uh i want to find out from you uh prophet mm -hmm. uh did you prof uh, your, your your spiritual father so far uh said something to you say no you are doing this wrong you're doing this wrong plenty times uh what was it like to be specific my spiritual father called me one day uh, called me one day he sit me down he said all right i've uh, heard a lot of people uh, a lot of people they are they are saying you've been um 
you know a lot of people they are saying that uh, you see you've been uh, uh, doing a lot of traveling mm. you're doing a lot of traveling and if you are here you are not staying alone you see you are traveling a lot of places in in one month you'll be everywhere mm. so it's not good for your health so i want you if you want to travel think of how many times you need to travel because well, I, 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 mean, maybe I meant something controversial not just traveling but okay we'll look into that yeah uh, 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 Some, on. something controversial my future father told me many times mm -hmm. about um warned me mm. about i'm a prophet mm. being a prophet is very challenging now you know a lot of people come follow me and things like that are happening my spiritual father always warned me he said to me my son i see a lot of things happen to today a lot of people are going there are getting juju they're getting ngomas and stuff mm. and using i don't want you to go to that 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 that, uh, uh, that road mm. i know you are a prophet but i don't want you to begin to mix things because you are going to lose your soul so okay. you time to time bring me back into that line he does not want me to go mm. to a place that i'll lose my soul okay but fine, uh fine where do you get your powers from my power i get it from god mm -hmm. i get my power from prayer i get my power from my disciplines with the holy spirit and the fellowship and the communion that i have with god mm -hmm. and my power came before i was born okay because god said to jeremiah before you were born i chose you as a prophet prophet in uh, November 2019, yes, there is an article uh, mm -hmm. that was uh, published, you know, uh, by Nea and the Radio, mm -hmm. where in the article uh, that you had a, a different definition of true prophets in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what you had to say in a court. Mm -hmm. uh, the younger generation of prophets mm -hmm. who are between 30 to 45 years mm -hmm. are valuing the gift of prophets more than the office of prophecy, mm -hmm. functions and character of a true prophet mm -hmm. close court mm. what exactly were you saying prophet right i was trying to talk about the younger generation who have been already seduced by the movement that came in earlier on and making them to believe for you to be uh, uh, making them uh, to believe for you to make life easily and quickly you mm. need to become a prophet and once those people they become a prophet they're gonna have a lamborghini they're gonna have a Range rover they're gonna have a bigger house they're gonna have a luxury life mm. now those generations they don't want to study those generations they don't want to sit under the father to listen to instructions and to learn to become strong and solid man of god to be released mm. they want a shortcut now those shortcut now it is where they are standing all over in the facebook and become a prophet mm -hmm. without being released and being transformed even to receive jesus christ some of them mm. did not even receive jesus christ mm -hmm. so this came from a certain movement of people who came with a, a, a style that destroyed those generation now you have a generation of the, the age i give there mm -hmm. to 40 those people they are separated with the generation uh, uh, of a uh, uh, 50 go goes uh, down there mm -hmm. those fathers they are no longer accepting prof uh, uh, the prophetic because mm -hmm. they believe the prophetic came to destroy the apostolic mm -hmm. the baptist and the evangelical mm -hmm. so you can see everybody today they don't want to do evangelist evangel uh, 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 they are now all prophets all they are coming prophet mm -hmm. that is my that is my uh, my point that's where i'm standing against this kind of but uh, uh, are you saying zimbabwe they are uh, in, in zimbabwe they are not true prophets the truth of the matter in a moment in zimbabwe there's no prophet uh, uh so come again come again prophet uh <coughs> if i hear hear you correct you say truth of the matter is the truth of the matter in the moment when i say there's no prophet mm. there are prophets who make themselves prophets mm. there are prophets who used to be a pastor and they changed their name to become a prophet mm. there are prophets who came a prophet by sentiment and by emotion mm. they are prophets who come a prophet are, are you saying a, a pastor can uh, cannot change to become a prophet a pastor cannot be changed to become a prophet but you have just said early on you mm -hmm. said you can transfer your power your spiritual power for me to become a prophet N now I'm is that not a contradiction that is not a contradiction uh. i can transfer the gifting mm. the gifting and the ministry are different mm. a pastor is a calling mm. a prophetic gift mm. is not a calling there's a prophetic ministry and prophetic gift mm. someone who prophesy is not necessarily a prophet mm that is a gift so when you say in zimbabwe there are no true prophets are you including yourself there i am the genuine prophet and i'm the only prophet so far in zimbabwe as it stands oh. <laughs> you are the only prophet in zimbabwe as it stands as it stands yeah what about other prophets like uh, you know the famous prophets i'm not going to name ne uh to, to, to name drop here yeah uh, like i said you're saying they are they're fake like i said some they have ministry for evangelizing mm -hmm. some they have a ministry 
for maybe praying for people mm -hmm. some they have a ministry for maybe uh you know i don't know what to say so what is your ministry all about when you talk about prophet prophet is a mouth speak of god that which the person that speak on the behalf of god mm -hmm. the person that hear from god in every season and every nation god releases that which he will use mm. to impact on others so i am that prophet that god sent mm -hmm. in this season mm. to speak that says the lord and implement the the, the 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 decree of god in the prophetic ministry um okay how can one tell this is a true and this is a fake uh, prophet the true and fake prophet that they are they are identified or seen by the character mm -hmm. the true prophet you will know him is not because they do miracles mm -hmm. or they prophesy no a true prophet the, is a prince is a principled man is a man of character man of humility and man who works according to the will of god and uh, the in character maybe in zimbabwe there are some people like that who work according to the will of uh god so are you saying they are, they are still fake no they have all those no, uh no i want to i want to make you i want to make things something clear here yeah. there are men of god pastors who can pastor mm -hmm. the church they are here they are evangelists they are here they are apostles in zimbabwe those people can teach you're denying about you're denying I'm on talking about prophet, prophet. You're, you're denying i'm talking about those who hear from god mm -hmm. and tell things and it happens you're and the only one i'm the only one so far are you a true prophet i am a true prophet what makes you think that you are a true prophet what make what what makes uh, uh, makes me uh, to be a true prophet mm. is number one is my character my character as a prophet number one and number two i hear from god and everything i say is accurate and it happens in the nations in every nations i speak to nations i speak to high authorities i speak to everybody and everything i say it happens why because mm. i don't create it mm. and i say it as it is i don't hide it in the in, in the computer mm. and I wait until when it happens mm. then i edit it no i tell people before things happen and it's happened and, and we have people like that uh men of god <laughs> who actually tell us about what's going to happen next year and it it will come to pass that's what i'm saying yeah they are they are they are let, let, there's something that the same way you do they, no they did no there's something you don't understand mm. there is a there's a dispensation of the prof, of the prophet mm. where a, a a prophet who is the the, the man speak of god mm. can get the prophet the, the prophetic or the message from god mm. and release it disseminate it mm. into the and uh, 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 the, 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 the small prophet mm. or those who are upcoming prophet mm. so i i have the ability to get a message from god but those message i get there are certain message i release it to the prophet who are in the small level but big message i deliver it because i have precision and information correctly that are supposed to who, who, who determines the uh, big prophet and the small prophet yes is that you or is god it's is biblical in the book of um uh, first king there was what you call the sons of the prophet mm. and they were still there when elijah wanted to go up and elijah said i'm just remaining the holy prophet god said no i have other seven thousand who have not bow to Baal. but yet there was other fifties who was working with elijah mm. but yet god never counted them but the bible called them the sons of the prophet meaning their level was not in the same level with elijah okay. so it is it it, it, it is uh, it is that way okay great and in other words you are saying all prophets that we have in zimbabwe even the prominent ones uh, who have allegedly you know performed miracles are fake i'm not saying fake like i say to you some when i say they're not prophet meaning people are misinterpreting their own calling some of them they have a pastoral ministry but the influence pushed them to to change their name to become prophet mm -hmm. but if you check when they started they were called pastors mm. some they were called doctor or teacher whatever it is but when people they call themselves a prophet you need to understand a prophet is not only someone who come and speak prophesy no it's someone who bring direction even to the nation but we we have the, so many prophets in zimbabwe prophet um who is that one prophet that you relate with i relate i relate with every man of god mm -hmm. who is doing the work of god generally and who who comes on my way mm -hmm. i greet because first of all i, I portray love mm -hmm. whoever is a man of god i greet i talk and uh i talk with a lot of men of god i talk with uh, the big and the small almost everybody i talk to mm -hmm. yeah 
And according to you, one of your fellow prophets that I talked to earlier on, mm -hmm. uh, they told me that uh, you actually regard yourself as the leader of prophets in Zimbabwe. How far true is that? Um, that I'll say it. I'll say it, I'll say it, it louder. Like I said uh, earlier on, if I said I'm the only prophet, meaning to be a leader, it cannot be controversial. It mm -hmm. is simple because if I'm the prophet, if I'm the God prophet, that means I am teaching the prophet. I'm training the prophet. For, so for you so to be a leader, it's still... So the you're, you're the leader of all the prophets? As it stand. How are you leading them? I'm leading them by teaching them the right way, by restoring the prophetic. Where are you teaching them? Uh, uh, do, you have guy, do, do you guys have like a seminar? Do you have uh, like um, classes where you teach them? Yes, I have a program that normally... The po program calls the Spirit of Elijah. That program comes every year where people come from different places. I train them. I teach them, then I release the spirit of in, in them. Including the prominent prophet, prophet? Of, of course, including uh, big ones. They come from different, different places. Mm. And we pray for them. They come from different countries, Kenya, uh, America, everywhere. But what miracles have you performed so far, prophet? What miracle have I performed? Yeah. So far, I perform a lot of miracles. I've, uh, we have plenty of people here in Zimbabwe. Mm. Before even in Zimbabwe, there are plenty. I, pr I pray for people who are, who are dead. And they come alive dead yes and they came alive but i've never heard i you know such an incident it's it's news to me uh who uh who is that person you raised from the dead i pray for somebody i pray for a, a child in kenya who was dead and it was he came alive i pray for people who were mad they are they are they are well i pray for people who, are, who, are, who, are, who have cancer hiv in this country plenty of them dead yes Remember of that story of that uh, prophet from South Africa who <laughs> who said uh, he, he performed uh, <laughs> the same miracle like you are claiming here. And later, you know, days later, it was you know all over social media that it was fake. <laughs> Listen, the problem is people they know what they want to see, uh, they want to want to hear. Mm. I cannot talk about the prophet in South Africa, but one thing that I know that. There is nothing that God cannot do. Mm -hmm. We are the servant of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And we are doing what Jesus did. He said we will do one that more than what he did. Mm -hmm. So there is nothing that Jesus did we cannot do if we have faith. Mm. Okay? So I don't believe that um, uh, uh, things like death is a big deal <laughs> that a prophet <laughs> cannot pray. Uh, that someone who was dead alive. It is all about, it's a, it's a matter of faith. Mm. Okay? We... When some people they look at things in the physical eyes, mm. I look at things in the spiritual eyes. Uh, Prophet, according to a close source, mm -hmm. you apparently have a bed in your office uh, mm -hmm. whereby if one lies on it, they get healed. If you are suffering from any kind of sickness, is that true? It is true. Uh, I have a bed in, in, in my office, yes. What kind of a bed is this one? This is the same bed that people uh, normally use in the hospital. You know, uh, I don't know what they call it. Uh, Those stretcher uh, beds. This stretcher bed. Mm -hmm. He has. He was done here in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. I pray for this. I went to the mountain for several days, and I came and I laid on my, the bed, and I begin to do a a, 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 service, a a program called prophetic healing bed. Mm. That people came from different places after the service. You come and jump on the bed. After you come out, you are healed. I got plenty of testimonies about people who came there actually in the hospital. What's on that bed uh, that makes it, uh, you know, that makes the, the ill be healed? The anointing. The hmm. Bible said the anointing make it special. So the anointing, it is the one that is doing that. It's the anointing of God that is in me, hmm. that is in my flesh. That is what is attracting the miracle. If, it's, if it is in your flesh, then why the bed? Yes, because like I said, if I laid on the bed... I release the anointing. The Bible says the prophet Elisha died and the bones was there. And when they come, they put a dead man touches his bones. He was alive. So the anointing that is in me can be transferred. I can transfer it in on, on, on the bed if I pray mm. and people touch it. His faith. They put their faith and they come there. They, they connect with my faith. Mm. Jesus Christ did the miracle and that's it. Uh, prophet uh, Motondo. Mm -hmm. In May 2019, mm -hmm. it was reported by BBC News that uh, you fed the car crash, mm -hmm. uh, so to get uh, thousands, uh, so as to get thousands of dollars or I mean of pounds mm -hmm. from insurance companies. Mm -hmm. uh, the article reads mm -hmm. in a court, mm -hmm. a self-styled bishop who fabricated car crashes in order to claim thousands of pounds mm -hmm. from insurance companies has been jailed for 10 months. Mm -hmm. Do you confirm this uh, incident, Prophet? Yes, I confirm the incident. What made you stage something like this? A whole Prophet for mm -hmm. that matter? Mm -hmm. Yes, that is exa exactly 
what people it, it depends on how people want to see it on the social media people they come with a different information mm. the information that you see that it was true it was true but it was different the uh, way people put it i am a prophet i am a prominent man bbc came there and put his information that the prophet defraud people listen let me take you the bible paul started breaking the law when he break the law they put him in prison I did not say to you, I did not commit that. I am not that prophet. Mm -hmm. I did commit it. And let me explain to you how I did commit it. I am in Zimbabwe right now. Mm. I do not, I know the spiritual law, but the law of Zimbabwe, I do not know until I had to learn it. Mm -hmm. So the law of UK, in my church in UK, I got two, two nationalities that I match. Mm. I got 75 Zimbabweans in my church. 75% of my church are Zimbabweans. Mm. 25 are French speaker. As you know, I'm from French-speaking country. Mm -hmm. Now, when my members are coming, they are, they don't know the system of the country. So some of them, they want to do what? They want to begin to be driving. Some, they want to go to do insurance, and they don't know English. So I am a man of God. I will be helping them by calling insurance on their name, helping them to get insurance or to get facilitation. <laughs> now, the law of the country, the yeah. law of the country, yeah. it will it is actually say that according to the law, which I did not know, is uh, that one is actually uh, is called, called misrepresentation. Mm. So I will say, for example, I am Ola. I want to get an insurance, mm -hmm. but I am not Ola. I am talking on the behalf of Ola to mm -hmm. help Ola. Mm -hmm. I thought I was doing the right thing because. I'm a man of God, helping my people who do not to speak English. Mm. But the law does not say that. The law says if you can't speak, that means they have to look for another way. Mm. So I did that to one or two, th 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 three of my members to help them. But eventually, that turns bad. Even my own wife, mm. because she didn't know how to speak English, so it turns bad. you actually helped them mm -hmm. to fake uh, car crashes? No. Fake car crashes is, is what people want to interpret. I want to tell you one what thing. What was it? That's what I want to tell you. Yeah. I have, I have over six cars, Range Rover, mm -hmm. Mercedes, and those I'm talking to you about new cars, mm. all of that you have to do, Range Rovers, mm. Mercedes, uh, 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 Cherokees, mm. and um, uh, I forgot others, plenty, mm. mm. right? Uh, BMWs and mm. all that. So my, those are my cars. So the people who are my drivers, to, be, to make it clear here, mm. People, I don't drive. My drivers, two of my drivers are Zimbabweans. Mm. They came to the country. They do not have a paper. So they drive me. While they're driving me, if I'm not there, they still drive my car. I mean, Zimbabwe here, they're driving the car. Mm -hmm. And the police caught them. They can't give their name because they will arrest them and deport them. Mm. The name of the owner is me. They will give my name. Mm. They give my name. Then they report the insurance. So now when the charge is coming, the camera caught them. So that when I want, when they call me to court to defend, I have not to defend myself. But it was deemed these people who have done crime. Mm. But they are my drivers. So, so 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 you went to jail for others. I am I'm a man of God. I have no choice because if I don't say anything, <laughs> they will be the one that arrested. But I told them the truth that I was not the one. At, at, at least, Prophet, you admitted that uh, you admitted the crime. Yes. And uh, I mean the crime you committed mm -hmm. and saved uh, time for it. How was the jail? experience of course i number one for correction's sake pick a lot of people they say that was jail 10 months 10 days and things like that mm. i was i was not in the jail for 10 months i was i was i was in jail for a certain period of mm. time which was three months mm. right now while i was there the experience for me uh, I, it was not a good experience because mm. that's what that's not where i wanted to be <laughs> but i it became comfortable because i remember that i'm a missioner mm. everything happened for my life is a mission is a purpose so i took it as a platform for me to serve the people that's what i was doing teaching but people serve the people eventually i even wrote a book from the prison that called but prison door but prophet any lessons learned from that incident of course, I learned a lot of le 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 a lesson. Mm. First lesson is that if someone wants to call, uh, he can't speak English and he wants to talk to a certain department mm -hmm. or whatever, I cannot speak on his behalf. <laughs> because if I speak on behalf, I'll say his name <laughs> and I'll get in trouble. <laughs> yes. So now, I, I was... I was very good with people yeah. helping, but now I'm still helping, mm. but with a lot of cautious. Okay. Mm. But anyway, uh, will you ever commit such a crime again that cannot happen because like i said that crime is was not voluntary mm -hmm. it was a mistake because i did not know the law of the country mm -hmm. but now that i know it is impossible because i cannot 
do such things. But you're someone uh, whom, I mean, your congregation look up to uh, and believe in. Mm -hmm. How will your followers ever trust you again? My follower did trust me because, first of all, when these things happened, the followers are the people who live with you every day. It's like a shepherd of the sheep. They know me very well. They know what I can do and what I cannot do. So they knew that it was uh, it was a mistake because I did not know the law. Mm -hmm. So automatically they took it like it was a mistake. And I come to my church. And after that I came there. I apologize to my to my congregation. But here now in Zimbabwe, Prophet. <laughs> yes. Uh, a, a lot of people still um, look at you as a fraudster. <laughs> and when you when you preach in uh, i mean when you're on that pulpit uh preaching uh and they have that you know fraud star element saying ah, this guy is a, is a I fraud star. Want, yeah i want to tell you something yeah you know one thing about the people is that there are people who look at me and say it's fraud mm, mm, there are people mm, who look at mm, me true. and they look at me as a genuine man of god mm. so i don't think about the people who decide to look at me that way i got millions of people who look up to me there are people who in this life who are doing bad do you know that people i can't mention people like uh, big people big mm -hmm. stars in in uh, they, they, co they commit fraud mm -hmm. do you know that even the, uh, in uh, europe the presidents and kings commit fraud but they're not exposing them why they expose me I, it was not the first time for me to be in the bbc they exposed me because i i took bbc to court i took bbc to court because bbc took my my, my my deliverance mm. that i was casting uh, uh, demons mm. and they put it on bbc without my concern mm. to cover their own documentary and uh, when i i challenge them they beg me though they introduced me as a good man of god in that documentary but the fact that they do it, they, they did it without me i sue them mm -hmm. so when i did that they say to me that if i if if my my lawyer said to me if I, I continue with these people they are going to make sure that they put me down mm. because i was talking about uh, 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 the, the, the things that they don't like to hear uh, 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 brackets I was talking about gays I was talking about uh, uh, some of the things that they don't want to hear mm. then they were looking for a loophole for them to put me down then here this incident came where they found the faults on me by doing a misrepresentation then they use it as against me so for me uh, is is uh, <laughs> uh, prophet uh, from another confidential source yes prophet uh, a former member at your church is mm. allegedly that uh, um, it is alleged that you have attendance of staging miracles whereby you pay a, a member a sum of $30 uh, and fake to be in trance. Uh, how far true is that? Right. I'll tell you one thing that you need to understand. First of all, I started the ministry, like I said, I was converted in 1992 mm -hmm. and I started the ministry almost in 1997. Yes. And up until now, for you to understand, for you to know, there are many prophets like you say. Go and type my name mm. on Google. Mm. Except that scandal they put there, you will not see anything. Do you? you are you going to tell me twenty-eight years of my ministry? Mm. I have never done anything that someone can go and put me on things. Why is it not they are talking about all those things? Mm. Because mm. I don't do that. Mm. So people can come up and say their things. I am a prophet. I don't want to look right and left. For me to look at you and begin to prophesy to you right now, or mm. look at him prophesy. I don't need to look. For, I don't need to look for someone to pay someone. No, I can do it now here mm. if you want to. All of you here, <laughs> that's me. I am not that kind of prophet. Some uh -huh. people are scared. No, I am not those people. People will say, no, 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 no. If you prove me now, I'll prove you right now. Uh, you know, when it comes to you know where you are right now, you uh -huh. said you can prophesy. Mm -hmm. uh, I challenged uh, some of uh, you know the prophets, one of the prophets, mm -hmm. and he said, no, I can't do it to prove anyone, mm -hmm. but I can do it. So I, are you saying if I challenge you right now, you can do it? Now, the person you challenge, number one, is not me. Yeah. But and number two, he does not know maybe his capacity. Mm -hmm. But me... You know your capacity. I know my capacity. So I can give you someone to prophesy? I, I, I'm a man of God. Okay, so we're so going to do that uh, to, to tonight right yes no no i'm okay, okay. i'm a man of god that's great so uh, i mean at the end of this interview i'm going to give you someone mm -hmm. uh from nowhere mm -hmm. uh, i want you to prophesy and i want that person to confirm uh -huh. all the prophecies okay that's great mm -hmm. according to a tweet mm -hmm. that was uh, posted by zim morning post mm -hmm. you said that uh you were the late Janimbi's spiritual father mm -hmm. for three years but before he died and you foresaw his death is that true yes it is that true uh i have the whatsapp chat here with uh, with Janimbi. 
you uh, have the chance yeah um that i've, I've been talking to him even the day he was dead he was he wanted to die mm -hmm. i called him i said to him that you have to come and see me quickly mm -hmm. because of um what i see then um he said to me unfortunately i can't come mm -hmm. i beg him to come but he did not want to uh to concur to my call my, my, my the, the just there i'm trying to i'm trying to look for it okay yeah so this uh these are things that but it, yeah it, Jinimbi, it, it, of course Jinimbi mm -hmm. was uh, my spiritual son and mm -hmm. that's the truth as you are looking for the uh the chats mm -hmm. i want to see the, the those chats what uh was your relationship with um i mean what was the rela your relationship like with the late Jinimbi? my relationship with Jinimbi, Jinimbi was a man a young man just like every man right he was just courageous making his life you know like everybody else uh, uh, uh look for life i remember the first time i i i met Jinimbi. he came to my house in the someone introduced him to me he needed help he came to me he asked he said man of god i'm in trouble i need to help me and i i give him my help and after that we we touched base since then every time he want to travel he called me you know to ask if he's safe every time he want to do certain things he asked me if he's safe but some of the times he does not you know this uh, uh, these people <laughs> they mm. sometimes he travels and i'll just find out when he's coming back so a few things a few times we interact if i see something i called him mm -hmm. when uh he lost his brother i told him what it was happening but you know he, he said okay man of god I'll, I'll take this serious but he did not take that serious mm. but how did you know about his death was it through uh, a vision or a dream or what a revelation um like i said the things of the, the things of god the prophecy and uh the the, the, the inspirations that come from god mm -hmm. it comes what well, that comes from god it comes is god give to you okay you can be sitting with people and uh, god tells you okay these things is happening uh, these things is coming and these things is coming so you tell the person based on what you feel mm -hmm. uh, what what god is telling you then you tell the person so for me i get the revelation when i since i i know you now i know my brothers mm -hmm. here i got your face that means mm -hmm. automatically you are already part of me mm. i can sleep and i get a dream about you and mm -hmm. i'll tell you so i got the vision did you tell him about that yes i did tell him mm -hmm. and i, I, I uh, 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 in fact call him to come mm -hmm. and see me yeah but he did not uh you know i called him on friday mm. come and see me but he did not uh say he did not come he said to me he can come on sunday i say it will not be easy to come on sunday because you might not make it on sunday but he said to me i have a party to attend so you can't force when someone said i can't make it the only thing you can do is to pray okay and in an interview with h metro you said jinimbi confided in you and was ready to change his ways tell us more about that Jinimbi was uh was not a bad person like other people portray him mm. you know there are things that some people they look at people from far and decide to make you know paint them mm -hmm. into their own way yes no Jinimbi was not really a bad person mm -hmm. of course everybody they have their own backside their backside might be maybe they are they are alcoholic or they are drunkard or they are rude and stuff like that he has his backside mm -hmm. but the confession that he wanted to change it was not only be, he want he, he did not come to me say to me want to end over the juju no he wanted to change this lifestyle mm. that's what he wanted to change the okay. lifestyle the lifestyle yeah okay yeah and um in an H, in, in an interview with h metro you said i mean th this uh, you said this you said i record the things that he was surrounded with mm -hmm. were not easy for him mm -hmm. to detach him from mm -hmm. what are these things uh, that you were talking about there are many things that Jinibi was attached with mm -hmm. Jinibi was attached with uh, some of the business what uh, it has to do with uh, you know i can't mention more mm -hmm. than i said with maybe with big people okay he had influences with some people who are inside the country and outside the country yes the business let me say to you the business might be maybe selling water mm -hmm. or the business might be maybe selling a powder you mm. understand yeah now you know someone who's been linked with uh, how to sell water or drink or coca and someone is linked with those people it's difficult for him because they make profit there mm. and those who are linked to sell maybe powder or uh, uh, farina or whatever it is i think mm. you understand my language mm. yeah you see those are kind of things that people sometimes they found themselves that they've gone so deep mm. in the extent that if it comes out here it can be a dead threat or it can be 
uh, lost on uh, uh, capital or mm. whatever it is. And uh, since Jinibi was uh, your spiritual son, mm -hmm. what really transpired in your private meetings? On the, my private meeting with Jinibi, like I said, first of all is advice, prayers, and direction. And um, there's no more than that. That's what transpired in my meeting with him. Mm -hmm. So after leaving me, he has his life. He knows what he does when he's, af he's away from me. Mm -hmm. When we meet, we talk as a son to father. And there's a time also we also talk as human being yeah okay uh, give me some directions things like that yeah but after leaving my presence mm -hmm. whatever it does that it, it does out there it was not really uh in my control are you are you married uh, prophet yes i am married um i have received and confirmed allegations that uh, you actually uh have a romantic you know relationship with uh with your pa what's your take on these allegations yes that allegation is not an allegation that uh uh, should be a surprise mm. to a man of God like me. Mm. Uh, because when a popular man is close to women, mm. there is always a speculations that they go together or they go out. Mm. So I have not, I do not have one PA. Like I said, I have PAs in every country that I have church. I have secretary. Okay? And all those secretary, they are attached to me because I give them instructions. Mm -hmm. Majority of them, they used to live in my house in UK with my wife and my family. Mm -hmm. So they become like sons and daughters to me. Mm -hmm. So those people, th their life and their family, they become so dedicated and so connected with me. Do you Such live with your uh, wife here in Zimbabwe or she's not here? No, my wife comes here uh, because my wife is starting, is, 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 is studying doctorate right mm -hmm. now is studying and she'll be here i think in the next uh, uh next four, four to five days she'll be around mm -hmm. she comes here for three months two months one month she goes mm -hmm. i go there to uk mm -hmm. and spend time with my family or other places and that is it so my pa i just want to make correction on that one mm -hmm. my pa the one that was here there were three of them one is a mp mm -hmm. right now i can't mention the name but it's mm -hmm. mp people yeah. knows mm -hmm. another one she's was here she's in the uk she was living in my house and another one too she's here she was living with me mm -hmm. and those that my pa she she's someone that you know this number one you know you need to understand something mm -hmm. though i speak english yeah but there are people in this country that speak shona yeah that the country that's in english she's someone that goes the way i don't go i don't go to shop mm -hmm. people knows me I don't enter the place. He's the one that does everything. Mm. So she's attached to me. Mm -hmm. So to people, it will look like something is happening. Yeah. And she passed a very terrible moment that mm -hmm. she was traumatized with anxiety yeah. and depression. And I had to take her through mm. the process of healing. Not only me, me and my wife taking her through the process of depression, which everybody as well, even in this country, mm. some people they know about that. Yeah. And she's and she's stronger now and she's standing. But the problem is people when they want to come to me, the peers and people like this one, mm. they will stop you to come. Mm. And you create conflict and jealousy. Mm. Why she's always blocking. But they don't know that there are some protocols. But I'm told there. that uh, at one point she even fought in church with someone. Uh, a fist fight in church no that is a very uh false allegations mm. and that is uh it was uh it was like i said people amongst the people that it was amongst the people fight of verbal fight where people they want to break certain protocols mm -hmm. and if i gi give some guideline and people you know they break it i'm not gonna blame members mm. i'll blame my leaders so they have to protect some 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 principles hence their reaction it will sound as if they are trying to be rude to people mm. but the fight it is not true i don't think uh, uh that is a, a true, alle true allegation uh, true allegations yeah okay great and at one point um uh, i had uh mighty on her live uh facebook live uh seems like she was not happy about what you you did like you, you i think i'm sure you gave a, a prophecy and it was published on your television uh, t tell us about that right i don't really know in which context mm -hmm. uh my tt would have uh, say something i don't have any problem with my tt mm -hmm. i took her as daughter mm -hmm. my tt came to my church for the very ever first time i know never known her i mm -hmm. gave a prophecy about all that is going to happen to her in the future She's going to go to America. She's going to go to, to, to UK. By that time, she had no even clue. No even any history. Mm -hmm. Even the numbers and people that are following her today, they was not like that. Mm. And I tell her that to all the challenges you are going, God is going to go. He's going to take it out. I know the people are challenging you. But I see God making a way. You are going to do this. I even prophesied to her about 
the marriages and uh, the men first way is going to come in which country i give all the details mm. and this all those things came to pass mm. my tt become very attached with me there was a time he would come even in my house mm -hmm. uh, they were doing some program with my media team yep. he's, he's a daughter to me someone that i, I, I love someone that I, I, I admire what she does me i'm a man of god but sometimes i want to laugh i watch her mm. so uh, her going there saying i think she was not maybe happy and they such you understand something we don't want someone to become become popular mm. sometimes people want to preserve their reputation and and, and in, in in certain uh, 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 circumstances people might not want you know people to know few things that took place yesterday mm. but the truth of the matter uh, he did not take it that bad mm. he was just saying to me he even saying to that to me myself mm -hmm. he said man of god please next time if there's something that you want to publish the only thing i want i just want to be away mm. that is published so that at least i'm not going to be receiving call yeah, for people yeah, here we yeah, see a video yeah. like that you know it was taken by surprise mm -hmm. people they see videos but some people they don't know her yeah. remember mm. she's a comedian and she's a celebrity remember yes. she does not only come to my church mm -hmm. she eventually go to other people's church now if she comes to my church if other two to three prophets who maybe works with them mm -hmm. or pastors they see other it might also be, where is she now so you know she wanted just at least that communication and since once we talked there was nothing and everything is fine uh, that's great prophet i have got uh, three challenges yes uh you know to to to, to give <laughs> uh -huh. first one is the um, I, I i i can you tell us which team mm -hmm. is going to win the new world cup mm -hmm. this year the 2022 world cup in qatar it's a record uh, so that uh, we will play this clip again <laughs> when the world cup is over <laughs> so number one thing is for you to prophesy about something you need to have interest on that that's one two you yourself in of interest two god has to have interest in it three you have to be you know praying to get this thing done i can prophesy to you right now mm. and tell you who is going to win mm. but there's something that is, is going to happen if i prophesy to you based on my analysis and my prophetic instincts mm it might happen like that and you say that i'm a true prophet mm. but it's not a true prophecy mm. the problem is did god is god interested in football no football is a competition god is not interested in any competition that is a competition god does uh, god is not uh, interested prophet, in let me let me just you know <laughs> Earlier on, you said you came here in 2017 uh -huh. and you prophesied, uh, you know, on uh, who was going to win mm -hmm. uh, the election mm -hmm. and who was going to, the, to be the next president. Mm -hmm. president. And mm -hmm. it, in, when I look at elections, it's mm -hmm. competition. No, 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 no. I want to clarify. Is it no competition? Now, listen, f that is amusement. Mm. The competition of football is entertainment. Mm. The competition of the country is a, is a leading someone who God has chose mm. to lead. When people they go to elections, is done according to the is done according to people's opinion. Mm. But God does not have a competition because God has always have his candidate mm. before you start having your own competition as people. The problem, the reason why people go to election is because people want some people they disagree. They disagree against the will of God mm. and against the the, 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 the the theology or maybe the the, 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 the philosophy. So, uh, uh, when I uh, uh, the way I'm looking at it uh, now, Prophet, I think it's a contradiction. Mm -hmm. When you say uh, elections are not uh, uh, competition, then football is competition. Uh -huh. But yes, it is the same race, honestly. It is, uh, it is. All I mean, everyone is looking at uh, who is going to win, who is going to you know to lose. It, it is the same thing, you know. Honestly, Prophet, I, I mean, I mean. I, I, right I, okay let me tell something i said i'm okay. I got three challenges now i'm, I'm going so to should i say this one is not uh, failed no 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 it can't be failed because i'm giving you the genuine answer the the things that is happening right now mm. in the the, the 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 football in which country is playing uh, uh qatar. In, qatar. in qatar all right yeah. whatever is playing there in qatar right now is not favor is favoring who what is the benefit of god on 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 that what is the benefit of God on that on 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 the game? So, what is the benefit of God on, on, on elections? The, that's what I'm saying to you. There is no election from God. Mm. Election is from people who make it because they are disagreeing to the philosophy of the person that God has to choose. Mm. In this country, we are God 
choose people already before you do election. Mm. Any country in the world, God will choose people. But the problem is now, people, they will disagree with his policies and his theology and philosophy. Then they will say, we don't want him because we want to go so to election. As a genuine prophet, uh -huh. uh, you are not going to tell me which team is going to win uh, the, 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 World, the World Cup. I am not going to tell you which team is going to win. Okay, great. Uh, let's move on. And, uh, okay, next year, mm -hmm. even a few months from now, mm -hmm. We are going to be, I mean, to, to, to have uh, elections. Mm -hmm. Who is going to win? Right. On record. Okay. I'm going to tell you I'm that. Going to, I'm going to play this clip again after the elections. I'm going to also hold you responsible mm -hmm. on your word that you must play the clip. Exactly. And I want to tell you now this. Mm -hmm. Here, again, for me, the election you are talking about, like I said, it is people. I am not seeing any election, but I ch me I see God chosen candidate to lead the people. So on the, the on the, the whatever mandate you are talking mm -hmm. about, I'll tell you something. Yeah. Like uh, on, in the time of Samuel, so it was people when they show God said put Saul there, mm. but people wanted someone else, but God said put Saul there. Yeah. Then later on, God puts. King Salom, uh, King uh, David. So for me, I'm telling you, I already prophesied this mm. without the election because there was no election. Mm. In Zimbabwe, there is no any other president who is coming next year. Mm -hmm. And that puts in your record. There is no the any the other current president mm. that is leading the country now. Mm. Comrade uh, Ed, uh, Edi Doc, uh, Dr. Edi uh, Emerson Mudangakwa will be the president that will take Zimbabwe to the next step because his mandate to God has not yet finished. So he's the next uh, He's not the next president. Mm. He is the president mm -hmm. and he's going to run through until his man mission, his mandate to God is mm. finished. To you, he's going to be a next because we are going to do competition. Mm. But to God, he's not seeing that competition because God proclaimed a, a, a victorious person before the competition. So this is a prophecy. This, the, this is this is is it is is, is a, a confirmation from God that he was put by God mm -hmm. and is going to be taken by God mm -hmm. when his time yeah. comes. So I'm going to play this clip, uh, Prophet. Keep it after the elections. Keep it on this show. I will remind you. I de definitely, <laughs> please. <laughs> and uh, the last challenge, you said uh, I should give you someone. So I'm going to put Nyegetai on, on on the spot. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Nyege come on the mic. Um, I want prophet to prophesy. Um, yeah, not only in the I'll I'll do to all of you here. Oh, oh all of us. Ah, no problem. <laughs> 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 Nyege, come, uh, come on the mic, please. So we, we want to. to I mean, I, I said three challenges. So uh, the second one, uh, prophet, give us um, the prophecy. You know, on the elections. That, but the football one, he said no. Now this is the third challenge. <laughs> prophet. As long as he's not going to touch me. Or no, no, no. It's prophecy. <laughs> it's just prophecy. It's prophecy. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you scared, man? <laughs> okay. Go ahead, Prophet. That's, that's it. Right? They already given me your name. If I say your name, it looks like... Yeah. I'm prophesying again. Okay. All right? Yeah. Okay. So what you want to hear from God? I'll tell you straight away what the Lord is speaking to me right mm. now. Um, as a prophet... Okay, I don't know your age. I don't want to say your age because they will say I bring the age, mm -hmm. right? Uh, but I, I will just begin to talk about your childhood, okay? Because the Spirit of the Lord, as I was sitting here, the Spirit of the Lord was talking to me about your childhood. As he was, he was growing, the Lord showed me that you went through a period of sick sickness. So in your childhood, according to my prophecy, according to my uh, uh, my, 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 my my inspiration in my eyes, you had series of sicknesses when you were a child too much as you grow that's one two there is something you will confirm me if i'm wrong in your tummy there's something in the tummy that comes it pulls on and off sometimes it's like um i don't know what to say cold, like i'm becoming cold that it moves and goes it moves and goes and before I, before i i i i, fin I finish on that there's a name that I'm going to give to you. I'll give you three names that I'm telling you right now. Then I'm going to connect it with uh, others here. Right? Who is uh, Kudakwashe? I don't know a Kudakwashe. 
you have to be true with me because sometimes you want to <laughs> maybe just no I'll, I'll be very much honest with you probably. right yes are you sure i'm sure all right i'm not going to be things but i'm just make sure that i tell you what i hear in my spirit all but right. before i continue i talk i talk to you about uh, 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 two things here. I said to him, I'm going to give you three names. One is Kudakwashi, one is Tina, and one is Tendai. So you confirm that all these things I say is wrong or is right. And then you tell me about your childhood stories that I just say right now. If I am wrong, if I'm here. No, I But just be honest. Yes, I'll be honest. Uh, the childhood, there is no record of me being sick from growing your mother. up from your mother, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. Are you sure? <laughs> yes, I'm sure, but I'm not so uh, <laughs> so sure about the the whole stomach thing because I do sometimes feel something. <laughs> but about the childhood, no. No, you have to be honest. I'm it is sometimes honest. only mm -hmm. that you feel what I say. It is sometimes. Yes, it's sometimes. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, the names I gives you did not recall. Okay. Uh, there is a Kudakwashi, a relative of mine, from my father's side. That's the first name I started with. You completely deny that, but mm -hmm. eventually you brought it on po on spot. Well, but there is a Kudakwashi, a relative mm -hmm. of mine. Mm -hmm. All right, there's one name here. Before I finish, is um, is Munyaraj. I learned with a Munyarazi University. You learned with Munyarazi in university. Do you know any Munyarazi? Munyarazi? Mm -hmm. No. You don't know any Munyarazi? Okay. He's a truck driver. Munyarazi. Oh, Munya. No, here we have uh, Munyarazi. No. Huh? You? No. He's a truck driver. Munyarazi, no. 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 Are you sure? I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. Who is uh, Enifa? Enifa. Uh huh. And if I'm sure I, she's my aunt, <laughs> <laughs> I have an aunt. Yeah, All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I had the name before. You had the name before. Mm -hmm. You are trying to no, no, make my things difficult. No, no, <laughs> I, I'm not trying to make it difficult. But I have, I, <laughs> I've had the All name. All right. Before. To be precise, yeah. he's a wife to Percy. Percy. His husband is Percy. Enifa is a husband is Percy. Well, you, I, I, I don't yours. know. The, I don't know the name of his uh, of her. I mean, her husband. Okay. Yeah. And his son is called Cleo. Mm. I'm not too sure about All that. All right. Have you been to Chirese? I'll, I'll, I'll confirm. Have you been to Chirese? No, I've uh, no. You never been there. No. Uh, you never been there. Yes. Right. I had a of recent. You have a car accident. Yeah. I had a recent of a car accident. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Before the car accident. Before that car accident, mm -hmm. three days ago. Do you had a dream for the same car accident three days ago three days ago mm -hmm. from now before the car accident before the car accident, yes mm -hmm. yes i did how did i enter in your dream to know that you were the other dream i go you say that you <laughs> who is judy judy she's my sister is your sister uh. all right okay now let me just be specific because i'm coming back to you mm -hmm. so let me just be specific so i want to sp I, I know why i say that mm. Do you put, do you have your relative on the YouTube or things? Because I want, because people, they do some, or some of the prophets, they go, they do information. I, that's what I want to, I want to put. Judy, uh, no. their husband, okay, that's, mm. what, that's what I wanted to be clear with okay. you. So, Judy, the husband of Judy, um, mm, is it Chengeta? Chengeta, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. All right. Chengeta. Yeah. Chengeta. Uh. All right. Is Chengeta? Yes. Do they have children? Yes. You know they are children. Yes. Who is Cleo? Oh yes. It's one of the children now. You want your children? Mm -hmm. Do you got relatives in South Africa? Yes. Are you sure? Yeah. In South Africa. Yes. Okay. One of your relatives. Does he have a child called? Tadiwanashi. Um, Tadiwanashi. You call it Tadiwanashi, isn't it? No, no. Tad is Not Tadiwanashi. No. Are you sure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, my daughter. Yes, perfect. <laughs> 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 right. Okay. There's one I want to finish with now. Yes. Right. Yes. 
is one I want to finish with now. Okay. But it's only if you allow me to do. There is two things that I'm seeing as you stand right now, mm -hmm. right? I see the man on the left, I see the man on the right. Okay? So, it is going to be your permission to give to me because this is now about private life. Mm -hmm. And because you say it, all right? So, I'm a prophet. I, w I wanted to start this, so I finished with you. Mm. So, now, they call me the man of Paravinto. Yes. There are some of the place when I enter, it means it become a red. Right now, it's in the red. That's why I say it, but it's your private. Okay. So, I don't want people to look at you this way mm -hmm. and while others respect you this way. Mm -hmm. And I want people to know about certain things, but I see too many here. Okay. One here. While you are one lady, but there's two here. Okay. Right. I'm listening. You know, not before you listen, in, be, before you listen, you have to confirm. I when I say men, I'm not talking about your brothers here. I'm talking about Man, <laughs> boyfriend, all right. Let go to the deep because you want the deep, right? <laughs> right. So tell me, I'm lying. Uh, I can't confirm that. All right then. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, 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 I think I'm stuffing now. <laughs> I'm done. I think I'm done. <laughs> I think I'm done. <laughs> I am done. <laughs> 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 it is on the spot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> so next Sunday, don't miss the church, all right? Come to church. I'll give you details. That one is to be one on one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> no, you regret this. But anyway, um, prophet. Yes. Does this, uh, okay, does that make you a true prophet? Like I said to you, a true prophet is not the one that gives prophecies to people or names to people. Mm. A true prophet is a character. A character is what defines you because if you are a true prophet, if you are a prophet to prophesize, but you're still killing people, mm. you are not a true prophet. Mm. A character, it is what gives you integrity. It is what gives you respect. Mm. It is what people honor when they see you. A character. What, what, you, what, what's your take on Prophet Madungwe? Number one, there are, there are things you you say there. You started by say prophet. Mm. I have, I think I ever heard this kind of name. That is not a prophet. That's a blasphemy person. You you know these are things that you guys sometimes you do. You are you are provoking the anger of God. That is not a prophet. Mm. It's not even a puppet. Mm. It's it's a blasphemer. It's someone who take I don't know if he's a mutoriro who takes who takes a mutombodia and come and begin to talk about God. You can't play with God. Mm -hmm. uh, that is not a man of God. That's not a man of God. That is no way from a man of God. A man of God. Where is his church? Where is the people is building? Where is the character of the people is building that you can build people in the society that can be mothers and fathers? You see, we have to we have to learn how to you know. So you say it is a blasphemy. It is a blasphemy. It's not even a not even a put and in a, a category. And, 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 and someone uh, said on, uh, on, on 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 WhatsApp, what's your take on uh, Prophet Makandiwa? I know uh, 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 a man of God, Makandiwa. I know him. I know he's a man of God. You know, I know uh, Pastor Makandiwa very well. Mm. I know he's a man of God. You said Pastor Makandiwa? Yes. But he said he's a prophet. No, I are, know. Are you denying that he's a prophet? No. I know him as a pastor. And I know him as well as a teacher. He does teach. I, 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 I like him. He's a man of God. What but about the prophet? No, I mean pro the, no, this prophet. prophet no, uh, no, it's not a prophet. He's not a prophet. No, it's not a prophet. What is he? People call him a prophet. If you ask him here, he himself, he himself, he will never identify himself as a prophet. He's a man of God who teach the word of God. He's a teacher. He has a gift of teaching, and he's a pastor. He's not a prophet. Mm. What it. about the prophet Magai? Prophet Magaya. Mm -hmm. uh, I've heard the name of Prophet Magaya. He's a man that is here. He's been doing his work. But uh, it's not uh, a prophet. Mm. It's not a prophet. It's a man of God who God is using into the, the you know the, the, the area that he does on healing and whatever it is. You know, is that is his calling. He's so, so he's not a prophet. No, no, no. The prophet, no, no, no. Prophet is is a, is, a, is is someone who gives directions. Someone who you know who brings instruction from God. So the calling of being a prophet. But he uh, says he, he, he get the instructions from God, like yeah. you. No, instruction is different, mm. but calling is different mm. okay calling is different 
because some of you you want to you want to you define a prophecy a prophet how do you define a prophet according to your perspective no i'm asking you now if you so a prophet like i give you already the attribution of the prophet so on the attribution of the prophet there are many things that i said here is a mount speaker of god who gives the revelation of god according to season what god want to be hmm. and how god want the country to run how god want the people to go how god want things to be happening that is a prophet so he is a man who is blessed by god with the gift maybe of healing and that is where is his work is mm -hmm. so he has a congregation he has a church he's doing pastoral work and with the gift of healing but it's not on the the prophetic level we have so much respect uh, uh, for uh, baba ezekiel guti mm -hmm. i have never heard of his uh, spiritual father mm -hmm. but he's a good man of god what's your take on him baba guti is a uh, is uh, a serious man of god that i respect so much mm -hmm. he's an apostle of god uh when you say he does not have a spiritual father it might be maybe uh maybe you are misinformed I said i've never heard yeah okay because or if you look at his age uh you'll be his grandfather so meaning when he started the ministry you might not know some of the history there was someone obviously who lay hands on him i believe on that and uh, but i believe he's a man of god and i believe he's one of the leader and hmm. the founder one of the leader one of the the, the you know the, the the man that's every man of god here should look up to as an advisor as a father because what he has achieved many of us we have not achieved mm. and um his work is speaking you understand so we are differ i'm a prophet you understand but he is an apostle you understand but i'm not going to deny the work that he has done because i'm a prophet he needs me i need him but i respect him as an elder thank you so much uh, uh prophet uh, motondo mm -hmm. for coming through on this program mm -hmm. on the spot mm -hmm. what's your uh parting remarks Mm, on which angles? No, your parting remarks. Uh, I mean, as we conclude the program, mm. like I said, I, I've seen you with the. I mean, I mean, I mean you, can, you have uh, two passports here. Yes. Uh, Thank you for reminding me. Why did you bring the two pa passports in studio? I have. Uh, I, I, I see you're holding two passports there. Yes, this passport are British passport. All the all but of them. Yeah, there was a uh, okay because we used to be on the red. Yeah. On the British. Mm -hmm. uh, now we left the EU now we are using blue the blue one okay now when the incident of uk happened it was in like you say in may and that was 2019 mm. we were still in the eu mm -hmm. and this passport it just came this year because we are now out of the eu mm -hmm. so this is to prove to you that i am british citizen mm -hmm. right my brother can look at that just read it there i'm british citizen and if you check the last time i've entered you see that i just came from uk because there are some people who are saying that okay this man of god was deported mm -hmm. from uk yeah and yeah. that's the information to give the people mm. i was not deported to uk what I, uh, what happened it was uh, a mistake and it was corrected and they understand that it was because i was misinformed mm -hmm. And I pass through corrections, mm -hmm. and I'm doing my work. I go churches there. I go to UK all the time. Mm -hmm. That's why you see I go to. to this purpose. one is finished because, like I say, I travel a lot. Yeah, as you can see there, yeah. uh, he has uh, 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 my face on it. I travel mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, and this field, and this one is a new one that um, is here. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, just to uh, just to correct you know, people because some people feel okay he does not travel the UK is deported oh no. great I travel so everywhere how can people get in touch with you prophet people can get in touch with me uh, with our, uh, our phone numbers um, we are right now into um, into Arare in Arare CBD uh, uh, FW building mm -hmm. uh, is a uh, Woolworths Woolworth building, mm -hmm. third floor, uh, Kona uh, Mandela, Kona, Kona First and Nelson Mandela, Mandela okay. opposite TV cell. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, uh, Prophet, for coming through. In internet, Owen, we come on to Ola 7, the Chief A. Marshall. You can get in touch with me on my Facebook page at DJ Ola 7 Star FM. Follow me on that page and also follow at Star FM, uh, that's our Facebook page there. And can uh, I put on any interview? You can still uh, uh, watch this um, interview on our Star FM page and also my YouTube channel at DJ Ola Seven. Inenge iri po manje manje this uh, interview na Prophet Motondo. Tinotenda shukuru Prophet. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. Appreciate. After drive. After drive. 
Thank <laughs> you.